Okay, so in the, our lesson here, we're going to go ahead and texture our seat belts along with um, our seat belt holders and stuff here. And we're basically just going to use the same process that we've been using over and over and over again a simple just um, apply a material shader to it and apply a JPEG for our color. So let's go ahead and create a V-Ray material here. Go ahead and apply this to our seat belt meshes which are the nylon pieces of the seat belt here. Okay, and then we'll open up the attribute editor here for them, for it. Plug in a file node to the diffuse texture slot. Turn our filter type to off. And apply our seat belt texture here. And you can see that this is obviously going to have to um, be repeated again because right there it's, you know, it's just not going to be what we want. We need to have more resolution and more repeat limits. Okay, so same thing, we're just going to turn the mirror on in the U direction and mirror on the, the V direction. Uh, we'll try 10, see where that happens. Uh, that looks um, okay. Let me go ahead and turn off the wireframe there to get a better look at it. We can probably go down maybe, let's try 6. That's a little bit better. Okay, so now we need to um, go ahead and basically create the plastic parts here, or the shader for the plastic parts here. And we sort of want it to be the same color as the interior cage part, but I want it to be maybe a little bit darker. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do it the easiest way is select the interior cage part. I'm going to graph it so that it brings it into the, the workspace here. Create another V-Ray material. with the attribute editor open. I'm going to select the color slot, cl um, click the eyedropper, sample the color, which is that's probably too light or too dark there. Sample the color and I'm going to turn it to be just a little bit darker. Okay and I'm also going to turn up the reflectivity to white, turn this down pretty heavily and then I'll go ahead and apply that to the plastic pieces here. Uh, we can probably apply that to the nylon holder there. Go ahead and select the nylon holder on these on this side. Go ahead and apply that. And then I also need to go ahead and create a um, chrome shader here. And I'm just going to simply import one that I've been using for, for probably four years. Since it's, you know, pretty much of a, a standard material. That's actually a Maya, Maya um, or a metal ray material, I'm sorry. I'll go ahead and import my other one here, which is just a standard, you know, layered shader for our chrome material. I'll go ahead and apply that. Just trying to select all the parts that are going to need a chrome material here for the interior portion of the car. Go ahead and apply that. Reapply that plastic material for the upper portion of the seat belt holders. select these bolts and I have those bolts parented to the uh, the main body portion holder of the seat or from main body part of the seat belt holder and that's just from modeling it and that's okay so I'll just select those individually and 
add the material to them. Okay, and that's looking pretty good right there. Let me go ahead and close the attribute editor here and minimize the hypershade window. And you can see where our materials are, you know, really starting to come along now. Um, the interior portion of the car is, you know, looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and just basically move this up a little bit here so that we don't see any of the back faces of the interior portion of the car there. And that's okay. I mean, there's some model editing, but that's, you know, minor and basic. Okay, and as you can see, our <coughs> materials are actually starting to come together. Uh, when we come back in the next lesson, we'll go ahead and start texturing the actual body of the car and I'll show you a, you know a wonderful site that I used to actually grab some of the materials to to go ahead and do that and alright in the next lesson we'll come back and we'll start doing that